1950. Okay. Um, do you remember what clubs were offered during the years you went to school? Well, I can remember some of them. I know that I had squad leaders club that I was in, and I was in Usher's club. That was for only girls. I don't know that they still have it. But they do. And I was in a photography club when it was just started up by Coach Money. It was very small. It was very small. There was probably about six of us in it. And I don't know whatever. That's about it as far as the clubs that I can think of that I was in. Do you remember what the most popular clubs were? Oh, would you, would well, you explain what sub-debs are? Oh. Because um, I looked it up in the yearbook and... You know, they're all kinds of kids, and they're all girls, but I, I, I never heard of it before. Well, I don't know what sub-devs were. You had to be, you had to be voted into sub-devs. It's kind of like you had to try out for it, I think. And uh, what they did was, I really don't know exactly what they did. It's almost like Usher's Club, I suppose, but they, they officiated at tea functions when there was teachers' teas and things like that. It really is exactly what it says, sub Deb. But that, but that Deb was Debbie Tom, right? Yeah, so it Debbie. was sort of like you know. Mm -hmm. They officiated at special functions, I guess. They didn't have Hudsonettes then. Yeah. We had cheerleaders, and twirlers, we cheerleaders and the, you know, and varsity like. cheerleaders. And the twirlers were part of the band. I don't know that it was anything, you know. Separate the way it is today. Mm -hmm. We had a majorette and a couple of floors. So that's what it is. Okay, um, just, okay, how many interscholastic sports were offered? Or just name them, the ones you remember? Interscholastic? You know, like that's after school sports? Well, football. Oh, well, we, we had a football and a baseball team, basketball team, there was girls hockey. And and girls, play other yeah. schools, yeah. This is what plays other schools. Well, the only sports that we really had was the football season, basketball, and baseball season. There was no soccer, and uh, just the girls' hockey really played, and basketball. Well, what did the boxing club do? They were just well. Football. That was a, that was a club, and that they didn't really have it as a sport. Uh -huh. I don't think so. I mean, I really don't think that it was considered a sport. It was just a club. So that was like archery too, was like that. No, the club. The archery, yeah, well, that was you know kind of. We we all had archery in the gym mm -hmm. for a few yes, weeks. Sir. But um, after school, I don't even know that they had it after school because of the um, staff. I mean, it, you know, you have to have somebody in supervision. Okay. Um, <coughs> were any of the athletic teams successful? Well, yeah, it's very. Don't forget, I was in there, and, you know, when you go to school, every year is a successful year because everybody was into sport. We had a very good football team one year. Uh, Nelson McCollum was on it, and, oh, Mr. Cardacci, I mean, you know, practically all cases, mm -hmm. I can remember. We had an exceptionally good football team. We had a very good baseball <coughs> team. Mr. Cliff was an exceptionally good picture one year. More than one year, but, you know, these are the two years that I... You can remember. And we always had very good turnouts for us for the Okay. Um, what was the dress like in the 40s to 50s? Well, pleated skirts, bobby socks, stickies, and many times you would wear a bow around your, you know, under your dicky uh -huh. sweaters. Dickies meaning just little white Peter Pan dickies, not not, you know, the whole, not a whole glass. Not a turtleneck. No, not a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. What about the guys? A letter sweater. Yeah, we have, of course, to have a sweater. You know, and quite often, polo shirts were in. You know, the fellas, you know, paying too much attention to the fellas. <laughs> they just wore their good old normal trousers. Certainly not jeans. No? No, everybody had a peg leg. <laughs> very tight, you know, the tight to the ankle pants, mm -hmm. but they were pressed. And, uh, what about the high school rings? 
What about the high school? When did you get them? No, you got them in your senior year. You got them in your senior year? Oh, yeah, everybody. Then you could afford a high school ring, right. you know. Now was it was fifteen dollars. I don't know what it was. So we didn't have school. a tremendous choice. We either had a, we either got an, an onyx or uh, or metal or, or something like that. It was either an onyx or just a metal one that the school wanted. So there were two choices of styles. That was it. Yes, Um, how long was the school day then? The school day was from 8.30, quarter nine I think was the very latest, from 20 to 9 to 8, to 2.36 was when the bell rang. We had three minutes in between classes, and we had to show up on time. Okay. Um, was there a student union? Yeah, we had a GEO. GEO? Called General Organization. We had a general organization president and vice president and so on and so forth. Were they effective? As far as I know, they were. I mean, everybody bought GOs then because sports were very important. Were they a GO card? Yeah. And, you know, you really used them. We really used them all the time because uh, everybody was more or less involved in sports and an art or dance. You could use your geo, and when you went to away games, you got to get in half price. You know, there was a lot of I mean, Tuesday and Friday nights were basketball nights, and we just went. Our geo cards are not went. And that's, that's, that's the highlight of the week. We have basketball store on Tuesday night games? We had. Well, it's usually 4 o'clock, and we didn't get nice on Friday. Well, we had them only at 7 30. Yeah, the weekend. Friday night stage they have it. No, it's not at seven o'clock. But otherwise it starts at four o'clock. No, we didn't have any other things. Well maybe we do, I just couldn't ever do it because I had to go to work. Um were there any after school activities like dances and movies and stuff with like sponsored by the GO to raise money? Oh, I'm sure that there was. I mean the dances were well, we, I mean, we would have probably a, maybe not a Valentine's Day or something. I don't know why that popped into my head, but any dance that wasn't sponsored by class would be sponsored by the GO. In other words, there would be the seven and eight grade dance. We would have square dances for seven and eight grade. That's what they have. And then you've got to be ninth grade, you know, and junior dance and freshman dance. They're done by their classes, but any other in between dance was always sponsored by the GO. Oh, you mean like there used to be like just a junior dance for only junior could go? Mm, no, but the, that was raised oh. for the junior class. Oh, I mean, right. The junior class would make yeah. more money. And but any other dance throughout the year, there yeah, would be sponsor. football, football dance, right. basketball mm -hmm. dance, and all that kind of would be geo sponsored. And there and wouldn't be any trouble like at these dances? Like, no, they never. We always had. You ever police them? Yeah, we always had chaperones. Uh -huh. I mean, there was always two or three chaperones, and I guess parents. Like auxiliary police? Parents. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really... Don't forget, I went through my sister's years after mine, and then my own children's years. Mm -hmm. And after I had gotten out of school, after a few years, I think they had to start bringing... I mean, it was already a trend where outside help was needed. Did you have, when, at the dance, did you have the freshman that you didn't have to pay for? No. You had to pay? Or did you? It was just like a punch bowl? No, no, no. Nobody ever, you know. Actually, everything was out in the hallway. You had to go out in the hall mm -hmm. and uh, smoke. Or, uh, I personally didn't go to dance. I'm not a dancer. So I couldn't, you know, I really can't judge what I used to go and look in on them all the Oh, I never did go to the dance. Um, would you say that the school system was stricter than now? Definitely. Very simple. 
there just wasn't, uh, the children didn't have the freedom to roam through the halls or be in rooms unattended the way they are now. You could never go into a room unless, you know, you had permission because the room was locked. So there was no way of, you know, using um, facilities unless you had permission or a teacher with you or a custodian was there. But uh, we weren't allowed to be around the halls without a pass. And uh, they're just, you know, you were in class and you attended class. It was as simple as that. You had your home absence. That's the way I can interpret it now. I suppose there are those who didn't attend classes that often. I don't know. And what were, like, the punishments? Well, we had detention. And if you were, you know, if you were someplace where you weren't supposed to be, or if the teacher felt that you deserved detention, then he signed you up for detention for that night. And detention was held in a certain room, and your name was on the detention list, and you had to be checked in and checked out. You served your time. Things like that. Um, was there anything that you didn't like about the school system? Not really, I guess. Um, I, you know, I guess you really realize that everything has to be run by a system, and, you know, the fact that you have to go to school was the system, and I accepted that. I don't know that anything I didn't like. Do you remember, like, how many kids were in your graduating class? No, I don't know how many were in our graduate class. I never really, uh, never could find out, because it didn't tell us either. Can you describe, like, the town scene? Like, were there any popular hangouts? Well, the only thing that I can remember really enjoying was the youth center since it was started a few years, I guess, or in my, de in my, at my time. And it was a very pleasant thing to be able to go down to the youth center two or three nights a week. <laughs> Um, it was only open until 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, and I actually went down and watched the Milton Girls show. And the wrestling matches on TV, because we tend to have on TV, and quite a few of us didn't have TVs at the time. And it was our only way to break up the week and to get out of the house. The, the school was open in the evening, the gym was at times. Uh, recreation had things going on, but on a whole, it, um, the kids who you really wanted to be with, the children your own age, were really probably down to youth center. Most of the younger kids were up the gym horses around. And when we go down to youth center, we could uh, play ping pong. And I guess ping pong was really um, a fun thing at the time because the kids really got up some pretty good games. And uh, really, you know, there were those who you would try to beat because you knew they were going to be there. And mm. it was really a fun thing to do, to just sit around and, and rap, shout and holler and scream. But it wasn't open on the weekend? It didn't need to be open on the weekends because everybody had family, you know, you had things to do on the weekends. Most of the time it was open. Actually, even if it was open on the weekends, it was dead because most kids on the weekends could, you know, go to movies or do whatever else they wanted to do. They didn't have to go to the youth center as a place to go. Do you remember how much the movies were? Probably 50 cents. So, did you hate Yeah, we had a hate movie in Dob Surrey, so between the two movies, you know, you'd walk to Dob Surrey to see a good movie, and especially if you had, you know, one of the friends are gone. What kind of uh, fundraising projects were there? Like, uh, bake sales? Yeah, well, I, I guess there are pretty much always the same kind of fundraising things because there isn't so many ways that you can raise money. Um, most of the time it was just a bake sale. And there was, they really weren't into raising funds the way that they are now. It seems, I guess everything costs a whole lot more. And maybe there was more funds in the GO. I don't know. But somehow or another, raising funds wasn't, it was a necessary thing but not in the, to the extent that it is today. I think there was no money available at the time. Is there mm -hmm. a prom? Yes. There was always a prom. Is there a class trip? 
There used to be until um, there was our class didn't have a church because the class before us had a little problem. Did they go on weekends for children? Yeah. And I think the children kind of spoiled it themselves, but there was a weekend trip. Our class didn't have any, so I don't know anything about that. I think they started it up again and then that was just going to happen again. And now well, it's just one day. They have this little problem of sharing rooms and burning bras and a few more other things. That's fun, but um, <laughs> you know, another get that at the end, I guess. Do you remember how much tickets were to the song? Well, I didn't go in my phone. Yeah. My husband, who, my husband, who at the time was my boyfriend, didn't like to dance. And, uh, and since I wasn't an expert dancer, I certainly wasn't about to say we have to go. Maybe, I don't know if I did or not. I know that I went out graduation night and stayed out all night. I wanted to go and teach them. I did all them normal things. But dancing wasn't our thing. So I don't know what the comments are. Could you uh, describe your grading system? What sort? Our grading system were A, B, C, D, and then F. And after each grade, there was a number, one through five, depending on that. That was the common. Uh, so if you got a, a B, if you got a B3, actually you're doing average work. And anything above a B3 is, is upwardly graded. And that was, uh, then there was also, yeah. I guess now you have minuses and pluses. Yeah. We had one, two, three, four, and five. One mean very poor, two easy to be the average, and so on and so forth. And how about like the courses that were offered then? Well, oh, well, there, were, there weren't as many as that. No, there, there, there weren't as many. And there was basically you could, you could come out with a business diploma, a business diploma, or a school diploma. I think it was the beginning of a lot of 
you know, other clubs have come from, and I think probably the runoff is the key club. I imagine the key club was, was really called the Junior Police when I went to school. But there was no, there were no um, girls on the Junior Police club. No, no, that, you know, that certainly wasn't going to be there. Right. <laughs> Well, then we did have a club called the Service Club, which really was nice, too, because it's the children who were in it on their um, study halls or free time or whatever time that they had, they could volunteer to sit at the service desk and help people who needed direction. And also, catch anybody who was, you know, cutting class. You couldn't go back to the service desk without a pass. If you didn't have a pass, then you were in trouble. So they monitored of a certain agree with that really wasn't their function. Their function was really to do service, run errands for the office and, you know, things like that. Do you remember, like, if you had a last year's study hall, could you leave the building? Or did you have to stay around until two days so? You had to stay around unless you cut mm -hmm. class. Oh, uh really? -huh. And, of course, most everybody, I suppose that would be the only class that anybody would have cut. But on the whole, there wasn't there just wasn't as many study halls as there are now. I don't know where all these study halls are coming from, but all of a sudden everybody graduates study halls. <laughs> I, I really didn't yeah. really mean that. I mean, if we had one study hall a week, we were very lucky because our our courses were, you know, don't designated to us, and we took them, and we had seven periods, six periods of class, and seven, and you know. Uh, How many credits did you need to graduate? Do you remember? I can't remember. <coughs> I really don't remember them trivial things. All I knew was I was getting out, <laughs> and I had enough credit, and I graduated. Well, you wasn't high in class, but at any rate. Were you the graduation? anything about the Queen's Court? Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't go to that prom, you know, but I, I know it was a very important time in every senior's day when they had to, you know, vote for the Queen. Oh, yeah, it's a body does. And, um, you know, it can be voted on. And like anything else, it can be fixed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, of course, there was a few of them, but no matter what, there was a few of them in it, and it And who was the queen of young you know, Mrs. Fisher? Fisher her, she's now Mrs. Fisher. She was the one of Sylvester. I don't know who her maid of honors were. I'm sure if I had well, any... I think one of them was this one. Who was the one? Who was the Oh, no. Evelyn Parquet. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. what a bear she was. Right. She was on um, Yeah. She was walking before. Right, walking. She I forgot she was walking.